and welcome back to another episode of Ark Modded. And check out my gear. Check out my gear. I got some costume stuff sorted out. It's a Manticore armor costume set. It's actually covering my original armor that you've already seen. And it looks pretty dang cool for my castle building, castle like thing. It's pretty awesome. Speaking of castle like things, da da, check out what we've got behind us. This castle like thing here is just something I've been throwing together over the, the, the weekend, as it were, just playing around with it. I wanted some uh, structure at the end here, and I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but it's castle-like, and I've used the uh, castles, keeps, and forts mod, or fortifications mod, to build it all out and see how these curves work, and see how the, the corner curves, the towery curvy bits, have been working and just how it looks with these arches and that kind of stuff just so I've got a, a nice visually through through area um, the idea is that I wanted to cap this end off with this structure here and do something similar on the other side as a, like a gatehouse probably a little bit smaller though um, so just two towers one either side of the gate just to make a gate tower similar sort of design though to that a similar design but not as wide. I think that's probably what it's going to be over there. And then sort of measure it all up and tie it all in and make it all look good. Um, what is it used for? I don't know yet. I'm thinking that it's probably just going to be um, a storage place for egg-bearing um, flyers. Egg-bearing flyers. And just throw some egg-bearing flyers in here with their heads sticking out of the window slightly so that they're looking out uh, and they can see, but they can't fly away. And that kind of stuff, yeah. Uh, there's nothing much in the towers. I just, uh, I just climb up here, and it's just a basis for the tower, and just hiding these uh, nasty little joins with a keep roof in. Uh, it also has a torch light in here to light it up at night time, and I didn't see a good pointy bit to put on the top. So unfortunately, we've got this thing at the top. Which, I suppose, it allows for ventilation. It allows for ventilation, we'll say that. Right? Uh, and another annoying little thing is these keep uh, castle keep and fortification things don't fit together snugly again. Look, they always have that little bit of a gap somewhere in there. And there's nothing I could do about it. I tried for ages. I tell you, I tried for ages to get it to work right. And no, nothing. I tried from working from the middle. I tried ripping it all down and trying just working from the middle. And nothing. It just refuses. <laughs> it just refuses. So I got it the best as I can. And both sides are exactly the same because, well, yeah, I got it as best as I can. Uh, there's nothing else I can do about it as far as I know. Maybe there is. Maybe, maybe there isn't. I don't care anymore. I've given up on it. Yep. Uh, so this area has been freshly built, and then the stairs down into this area. We've been we've been doing a little bit down here. I've been messing around a little bit over here because, well, I wanted this. Now I've understand it all, and I've got it all set, and I've made all the things, and I've done all that. I've used I've used it usefully, just like thrown against this wall here. Now I wanted to put it away somewhere nice and tidy. So it's all there, and it's all stored, and I know exactly what storage space and what machines and all that kind of stuff I need. So we've got all of the different uh, crafters and the uncrafter, or the uncompressing crafter, uh, to do all that. We've got all five tiers of um, seeds from the resource crops mod available to go in there. Plenty of space. I've figured out there was um, 15 from tier 2 and 3 added together, and there are 15 <laughs> slots in one of these things. And we need 15 slots for these kind of magic seeds that we end up getting tons of. And one slot for the only tier 1 seed in this uh, mod, which is the meat seed. So everything else can be all these seeds that you use. Uh, and then we've got the seed crafting bench. And I just kind of hid the anvil just behind there. Because the anvil doesn't really look like an anvil. It's pretty much textured to be um, mossy wood in the same way as the benches. So I, uh, I have this nice little look about it now. Yeah, and a couple of storage crates down the side. This storage crate just literally stores all of the, the kind of the vanilla seeds that we've got going on. And then we've got the potion table. Now the potion table, I don't think I've shown you anything out of the potion table, but it's got consumable drugs in it. Uh, and you use magic essence and meat seeds and medical brew in this particular case for a health potion. 
This one is rare flower seeds and magic essence for a consumable double effect potion and so on. There's other bits and pieces. But the main one that I've been using and to have a great effect is um, Sleepy Time Potion, right? It only costs two magic, it costs a hundred narcotic and five rare flowers and it basically puts the torpor of a dinosaur to maximum so that they're asleep solidly and takes their hunger down to zero. So you put food in their inventory and they tame, tame, tame just like that, straight away, perfect. Instant tames almost, this one. And it's only 100 narcotic and 5 rare flowers. So that is what I got this table for. Another thing I wanted to do was store all the produce from the farm in here. So this is kind of my storage and crafting facility. Yeah. And when we come up here, I just want to be able to collect raw materials from the farming side of things. Uh, and at the moment, um, I've got these are the high, well not the highest tier but the high tier crop plots which have such effect it's very effective it's super effective makes lots of seeds makes like 15 resource fiber it's really 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 good at generating resources so i've got my basics like my stone my metal my um fiber my wood and uh, metal ingots now are in there and the flowers because we use a lot of the flowers to make the flower seeds in the first place so i need a backup of those um and i wanted to like even it out with two more of these on this corner which at the previously was this big yellow barrel which i've now as you can see put in the middle and the little yellow distribution thing for distributing the fertilizer well that's now down here with um, soup man who doesn't use anything for soup that's all now working behind the scenes and quietly down here so that uh, I don't have to have it up here I realize but the inventory that collects everything automatically collects from all the crop pots that I do need up here don't I that I need up here so that I can access it and it's area of effect is the other thing um, this has an area of effect if we show mount boundary toggle markers we can come out here and we can see that it's got kind of like a, a square around it, a cube around it, the area of effect. So if I don't have it in the centre of the um, greenhouse, then it's not going to cover the entire greenhouse. So it's got to be in the centre of the greenhouse to cover the entire greenhouse and pick up all the things from all the plots inside the greenhouse. Which kind of makes sense, right? But that means it's got to be there in order to have maximum coverage of everything, right? So toggle that back off uh, and so then I get all of the materials in here but it gathers up so quickly that it's too heavy for me to carry out out here so I'm gonna carry it out this way and there's no dinosaurs that can fit through those double doors so there's no way of me bringing stuff out on a dinosaur I did try with some of my small dinos I tried with a flying mount coming in from the top and then filling the flying mount up but then the, you've got to fly back up and over and then land down over on that side and that's just annoying so I need a quick way to move stuff from that inventory into a sorting inventory which I'm thinking this is going to be a sorting inventory because it's got like I think it's got 600 slots yeah it's got like 600 slots in one of these vaults which means that's a lot of space for just unsorted dumping of things right so all the resources from the farm I want to dump into one of these things and then distribute out into these kind of things where we can name, label different things that I don't use very often and keep like metal and ingots and stone and all that kind of stuff in there so that I can transfer it down into this section whenever I need it to wherever I need it. But there's a lot of things that I get in there that I need to put in here and there was one thing that I spotted in a well previously looking through ingrams that i thought we should try and have a look at today right and it goes with these guns and i don't know exactly what they are so um i don't know what exact s plus they come from s plus because they're an s plus transfer gun all right so right click to set a source left click to transfer to your target g will set yourself as the source Holding left shift will transfer only the first item. Left alt will transfer the first item only to you. I don't know how that works, but it only requires a bit of thatch, right? But it transfers items across, right? 
Light settler gun allows you to change the light settings of multiple lamps at distance. Don't need that. Um, invisibility tool. Show Shows all hideable structures that belong to your tribe. Oh, okay. Hide and show. Wow, okay, weird. Euthanasia kills dinos. Underwater has uh, open, close, freeze. Okay, portals. Uh, remote, turn things on and off. Transparency, change the transparency of glass. I might actually learn that one as well, because that looks pretty cool. Uh, model select, allows you to pick the model of glass items from a distance. Okay, interesting. Demo gun, pick up or demolish items. Repair gun, repairs items by shooting them. Pretty cool. And turret configuration. They're pretty cool little things that the S Plus adds in. And I wanted to test out the crafting transfer gun first today. Uh, let's see if I can make it. Um, do I have to make it in here? I can make it in here. It's just simple thatch. Okay. So let's make a transference gun. I don't know how many I need and how often I need to use it. But let's see if we can. All right. So what does it say again on the inventory side of things? It says right click to set a source. Left click to transfer to your target. Okay. So number six. Let's get a gun. Right click to set a source, set source set mega crafter, okay, and then, ooh, can I, can I, can I get some less lag please, can I get some less lag, less lag, <laughs> oh dear, something, something just waking up, okay, and then left click that, transfer completed, okay, let's see, uh, well it looks like it transferred everything out of there, that's cool, okay, so then, uh, this is empty, well, apart from the stuff it's now collecting, yes it is. Okay, awesome. Now, this one, this one is full of, like, tons and tons, like, highly weighty piles, stacks of 500 stack items and 250 stacks of metal and 100 stacks of this and that and the other, right? Very, 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 left, uh, right click it, um, very, very, very time consuming to move around the place, right? And now... Boom. Transfer completed. Could that be it? Could that be all there is to it? Oh my days. Look at that. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, every, everything just got transferred as quickly as that. And now I can tear this one down, I guess. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I was expecting to get. Yeah. Because it would have taken me ages to transfer that off, right? I would have done it individually, stack by stack, a hundred and something tons of weight by 100 tons of weight each time until eventually I'd got everything over here and then I could do something about it but that was definitely a quicker way I like very good and it's very cheap as well because it only cost me one straw or something didn't it all right what about the other one what about the other one and um, we may as well test that out as well while we're at it so that was a transparency cycler let's have a look a transparency cycler T for transparency okay so what do we do? What's the rules of this particular thing? Allows you at a distance to change the transparency of glass items from a distance. Right click while facing a structure to save its settings. Subsequent shots will apply these settings. Right click again to clear. Okay, so that's the settings cleared. Okay, can I change this? I can't change this glass. So it's not greenhouse glass that I can change. Okay, so it's a it's just a normal glass structure. Uh, do I have what it takes to make a glass structure? Let's see. Can I make gl glass stuff? Let's go in the folders. Uh, glass. We just need a load of crystals, which I'm pretty sure I got. I don't know if I was growing crystals. No, I'm not growing crystals yet. That's a big deal, though. I still need to do a lot of growing crystals or figuring out crystals. Uh, do I have crystals stored in here? Uh, yes, I do. Only 123, though. I'm going to have to go on another trip. It's one of those resources that I'm not yet growing. And that's pretty annoying, isn't it? But um, I need to figure that one out. Right, glass. So let's see about a glass ramp. Interesting. Okay. Uh, glass triangles. Glass ceilings. Uh, glass windows. There's glass stairs in it now as well. Okay. What's that? A glass half wall. A glass half wall. Interesting. Well, let's try a couple of glass ceilings. Because I think I'm going to use them anyway. So let's go for that. 
and let's um, add them on to my inventory. Okay, and we can put them up here because I'm going to need this glass up here eventually anyway. Um, I wanted to to cover it all up and clean it all up, make it all look nice and neat and tidy up here. Because now I'm not going to be flying in here. I want it to be so that we can see through it. So now, do I have some sort of cycling ability? If I if I get up to it, oh, I can't get up to it from there. Okay, well let's go all the way around then. Okay, all the way around the houses. I'll just keep my gun out because that's that's the thing I do when I'm running around a house. I keep my gun out because I'm a cool badass. I just keep uh, keep my gun out while I'm running around the house. All right, there we go. Yeah, and this glass. It it looks very clear. It looks very very clear. Yes. So, E to hold for options. Change transparency. Check, select model. Oh, okay. Um, no sides? Oh, wow, that's cool. Um, one side on B. One side on A. I see what it's doing. Okay, three sides. Uh, oh, yeah, I see what it's doing. That's pretty cool. I like that they've added that kind of feature in. Okay, well, let's take it so that we're going to go with uh, select model... Hello, select model. And we'll have no sides. Okay. Done. And then we will change transparency to see what that looks like. Two-way opaque. Opaque. Yeah, we can have two-way glass. One way in and out. Or one way out and in. So we can have it like that so you can't see inside. That might be cool. Uh, opacity. Let's go with uh, one. Update done okay so freeze anytime today okay so let's have a look see what that looks like so from the outside it looks like it's going to be like a mirror setting saved boom we change it to that okay so it changes just the glass opacity it doesn't change anything else all right and from down here we can we can see a mirror ceiling uh, okay, so that's probably something to do with what I was doing with the changes. Let me fill the rest of it in, and let's mess around with it a little bit. Alright, well, I couldn't find a pattern where I didn't have to use the triangles on their own. It's ended up being a perfectly good triangular pattern. Um, no straight bits at all in it, really. Because if I put a, a triangle there, then I can't put a straight bit there. I've got to put a triangle there. And so on. So it's been a constant development to get all of this just right. I need, what is it, three more. Three more to make the top of that bit right. Now, I don't know, are these, do these have any kind of options on them? They don't, do they? So having a greenhouse that has no options, but having the glass that does have options, kind of okay, but I would rather to select the model and not have any sides to it uh, or maybe just one side on a no b b okay so now i've got to try and go around them all and try and figure out <laughs> the models for them so they have no sides can i have one side c b a no sides okay so i'm gonna have that little little section there every time aren't i i mean it's glass so i can i can still walk on it but the transparency side of things is going to look a bit odd. Because I can walk on it. I can walk on what apparently is thin air. Absolute glass transparency. But I can also change the transparency to make it slightly less opaque. So let's make it 0 0.5. Okay. So now it's slightly less. So we can see that it's, there's glass there. We can see the glass there. Which is good. Right. And having it so that it's one-way glass. Uh, make it one-way out-in. Or in-out. In-out. I think that's the way to do it. Let me do that. I keep pressing escape to get, get off that. Yeah, so I can see out. But you won't be able to see in. And that would work okay transparency-wise. So with this gun, I can then select that and change them all so that you can't see from the inside just change them all like this fire 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 bang 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 shoot them all up and change all of the transparency like that 
will stop the glare as well. But I'm planning on just having um, the frame running around the outside edge. Um, and I need one, two, three, four more corner pieces. And we're away. I've got these big flat pieces, but there's no use for them in this particular design because it doesn't work. So I'm going to have to change things around a little bit more. All right, well, there's a slightly buggy feel to it. Um, slightly buggy feel, but it's not too bad. Now, I'm testing something else out here. Just uh, update that. That looks okay. Um, I'm actually seeing if um, it's, it's possible to make it um, a pattern. Make a pattern out of it. I'm seeing if it's possible. 0 0.6 update. That's kind of transparent. Okay, let's see. Right. So we copy that and paste it around the edge like so. So that all the edge ones are that colour. Right. And then we've got this pattern inside here. Now we right click to change those settings and we'll check this one. And this one can be uh, 8. So it's a bit darker. Done copy that and paste it to these ones here like so and I might even go with changing these to 9 update done that one that one and that one do a pattern in the middle of the glass just to get rid of the annoying bit of it and just have this uh, looking kind of cool I suppose we could change that as well and that one there would also work and that one there would also work and then we could copy that one there and put that one over there no 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 we're done we're done with that let's copy that one and put it in there okay and in there and in there okay so now what we got we've got a star pattern up above which kind of looks okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. It looks different, right? But from the outside, from the outside looking in, when we've done that, let's have a little look from upstairs. <laughs> I, I like coming through this room. This road is like epic glass work or, or arch work. Looks cool. Will be awesome when it's later on. Uh, it, from the top, it just looks like a, a big opaque glass ceiling, uh, kind of a metal ceiling it's a one-way glass so i can see out but no one can see in which looks pretty epic now let's have a look draconis let's go for a little fly around let's see what it looks like from up here whoa yes um it looks better than the greenhouse glass from a distance <laughs> but let's look a bit closer in okay so yeah it looks all right it looks almost like it should have a H on it for a, a helipad for the Wyvern to land on. Uh, boom. Wyvern landing. Um, I, can, I can position this wherever I want, can I? But I'm looking at the build. I'm looking at the build. Let's look at the build. Right, so we've got the towers there. I'm going to have towers on the opposite side. We've done a little bit with the glass today. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I like... I kind of... Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the way it is. I would like to do something with the uh, Avery mod, or the Al Avery's mod, uh, where I can throw in some um, flying creatures inside and have an iris for them. But I'm not sure how to craft those up yet, or where I want them. I do want a few actually out here. I do want a few out here, so maybe we'll start checking that out very soon. Um, but for right now, I've got my sorting out sort uh, for this lot sorted, so... Finishing touches to the greenhouse in there is getting done. I need two more crop plots of the blue design. This section here is nicely sorted. Do you see how these are um, catwalks? I put some catwalks up and then put them up on top of the catwalks so it was set in slightly. Put the little frame from the uh, Keeps Foundations and Castles Keeps and Foundations mod in there. A few of these stacking things. Yeah, you've seen all that. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Uh, and next up, we're going to be filling these up with kind of like uh, bays, stacking bays. Because these won't stack, go against the wall, I decided to do it like this so I could have uh, like shelf stacking, shelf stacking sections. I can also have it so that we've got, uh, let's see, 
I've got access here to any more. No, I haven't got any more in there. Do I have them in here? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So we've got access in here for me to be able to do this. So we get them higher up, like so. And then over this side, like so. And over this side, like so. Oh, really? Hateful game. Pick it up. And like that. There we go. Place blocks. And then I can transfer heavy stuff from here. Let's say I wanted to transfer... Well, I don't actually want to transfer any of these really heavy items. Let's say I wanted to transfer a few stacks of this. I could take a couple of stacks of that. Not be able to move, but I could just pass it on to one of these boxes. This is what I was thinking, right? And then use the gun. Right? Six. Take that inventory there. Uh, set, set that source and then take it down here and just, uh, well, stick it into there. There we go. Yeah? And then inside here we should have the iron that I, uh, the metal that I just sent across nice and simple and in here nothing yeah so I can just like manipulate this into one of these and send it around or I could if I don't actually have my gun on me I could take it from this one and pass it over to that one and then move down here and take it from this one and pass it over to that one if it's large selections of stuff to go and stack it in the right um, stacking area. I'm not sure whether this is what I want yet. I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm working on it. And if I like it, then I will. Uh, and the egg collector and poop collector needs to go further down this side. So we're more central because we don't have a lot of dinosaurs down that way. It is collecting from that side. That's good. I want it to collect more from this side. And then we're going to have some kind of storage facility here for all the eggs and all that. Uh, but then out here... We're going to have to have a kitchen for all of the cooking and all that kind of stuff, but other things as well. Now, before we finish today's episode, I did want to try doing a little bit of painting. Now, I happen to have picked up um, a paintbrush from somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Paintbrush from somewhere. Let's get that and put you away. And I've got quite a lot of paint sorted out ready, but I wanted to do some paintbrushing of birds and the like. Yeah, and I think you just right click it. There we go. Oh, that's right click to put paint on me. Okay. Do I left click? That's it. Bird. There we go. Uh, and I believe that there is a load up, um, like a load paints of this type. And I've got something saved that I want to show you. Okay, so I needed some extra paints, but I did manage to get a couple of things sorted out. First of all, I did like a, a little bit of a, a test run so I could have something go into the folder so I knew what it was called and then I've got myself uh, sorted out with the right file name for the good old British <laughs> the British color uh, color coordinated Argentavis so let's have a go at that um, it requires these resources and there's no missing because I made sure I've got them all orange red silver and all that kind of stuff right and we should be able to load it up onto the that, yeah, onto the RG. It's using, it's consuming all of the bits and pieces that we need. Yeah, it's consuming it all. And it doesn't look quite as good as it used to because of a mod that is changing the color of the RG in the first place. But you can already see what we're getting towards here, what we're getting at. Yeah, let's see. We have the Union Jack. The Union Jack side of things is pretty cool. Union Jack on the wings. Yes, I also had an America one. You possibly already know where that came from. But it's pretty epic, isn't it? And if the RG had a more normal, natural colour, then maybe that would work a little bit better. But for right now, that is what we've got going on. Thank you all very, very much for watching today's episode of Ark Modded. Hope you enjoyed the building and the glasswork and the painting. I will be back for some more in the next episode. I would salute you, but I'm flying an Union Jack. Thanks for watching and goodbye.